every great city has its river. You look at New York, you have the Hudson. You look at London, you have the Thames. You look at Shanghai, you have the Huangpu. And when you look at Singapore, the Singapore River stands out as a very rich heritage site. There are very little sites available along the Singapore River, none that we know of at the moment. It is just at the fringe of the CBD, next to a river promenade that you can have a very nice community life and yet have the ability to retreat back within your own development. I would say it's one of the most prime sites that one can find. I think what was exciting about this site was the fact that it's grounded in history. As we know, the Singapore River is the beginning where the pioneers landed. This is also the beginning where Singapore flourished as a trading port. The brief was three components. You have the residential tower, you have the service apartment, and you have the conserve warehouse. So our challenge was to ensure that these three programs, when we design it, in its parts will come together as a greater whole. While you solve the requirements of each block, the greater importance is really the spaces that hold those three components together. My intuition was to come into a, a plaza of sorts. That is the area arrival that you can sense the river and also the three different components. So symbolically, this plaza is what ties the parts together. I think a good residential building starts with the arrival. The sense of place when you arrive home is very important. In this project, our arrival is elevated to the second story and all the units are lifted up. So when you arrive in the lobby to get to your house, you have unimpeded views towards the river. And because we want to enhance the river view, all the living rooms have a seamless connection to the balcony. It's as if the living room flows in the balcony. The facade of this particular project is a direct expression of what's behind it. Rather than leave them as a series of balconies, we created an order by imposing a very clear grid over the balcony. Structural order combined with well-proportioned spaces can give you a very tranquil environment. When you are given a site next to a river, I think your consideration has to be the whole precinct. When we start designing, we need to look at the whole urban design and need to understand that it's not just the towers that's important, but also enhancing the whole area and the whole neighbourhood. Within our development, we will also be creating an 80-room service apartment. They will have concierge services, they have an FMB, and they will have a specialty grocer that is within the overall precinct that we are creating. We also want to create a development that can give our residents the ability to engage in the life of the river. And yet, have a quiet place to retreat to, and oasis.